Hi guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, and I have some fun videos for you. You guys, different setting, I'm standing. That could only mean one thing. We are doing a bag organizing video today. For those of you guys who are new, I have the video, I'll have it linked down below. I have my first video of my first bag organizing in this incredible antique cabinet that I have also in my house and I loved it so much that I did indeed get another. We're gonna get into all the details and I'm even gonna show you a little sneak peek of some of the new little fun things that I've been doing in my brand new New York City apartment. But first and foremost, if you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put up videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And so I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. First of all, boop, boop, boop. That is Matisse's um, Valentine's Day toy that I got her and it's really adorable. We're getting a new couch, guys. Don't worry, my couch is horrid. The new one should be on its way, I hope in the next couple weeks, so I can't believe I just showed you that, but you know, seeing Matisse is worth it. And ta-da, here is my newest cabinet, which I am fully, fully, fully in love with. I already put my two. <laughs> Antique Staffordshire dogs on top. You know that that is only gonna last about 2.5 seconds of them being the only ones. And there will be an entire collection. And you know, but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna revel in the fact that there's only one pair right now. But look at this gorgeous, gorgeous cabinet. I got this from Cherish, not sponsored. I just love them. My cabinet downstairs is also the same and this came so much quicker than I think I even realized. And then welcome to my newly lime washed brick Matisse in the mirror. We love you, baby. We love you so much. Let's bypass my protein in the glass right there. But again, this is real life, it's fine. But back to my new lime washed brick, which I did by hand. I'm gonna insert some clips so that you can see the process. And honestly, I said this already, but it's not my strong suit to be like filming myself painting for however many hours, the two days that it took. So I'll just show you some clips, but I, honestly, I could not be happier with how it turned out. And I think it completely opens up my entire living room. This is my lovely brick wall. So many of you guys, which I already knew, I knew that this was gonna happen. Everybody was like, no, don't paint the brick, but, I'm true to myself. I know that I want lime washed brick, so I'm just being honest and I think it's gonna look really, really cool. And then this is my little dining room setup, which we're gonna use <laughs> for our paint today. Because I did my old apartment and even though I used regular paint, I did a lime wash style. So I know the pattern of how to paint and this is the same exact brush that I used last time, which worked perfectly. And then this, I just was recommended, it's Roma Bio, I think is how you say it. I probably would have said Roma Bio before I watched a video on it, but it is a Classico and like white, slightly off-white. And so I'm hoping it looks good, as you can see. That's kind of the vibe we're going for. We're just gonna see, I have to move all of my furniture now. Okay, honestly, I could be, don't, I, this is gonna be so embarrassing. Everybody's gonna be yelling at me. I really just mixed some water. And we're just gonna go for it. So let me, let's let's do the first pass together, guys. So essentially, how I did my last apartment walls was I literally just took a tiny bit, oh my God, I feel like I need everybody's moral support right now, even though this is in the future. Just, just be here with me right now, okay. Oh, I already just got some on the floor. And I just realized I wasn't even filming. <gasps> okay, it's done, it's happening. I'm just gonna, it's a different technique than actually lime washing a wall, but this is a beautiful color. Okay, I'm gonna do some shots. I'm gonna show us an update, but there we go, there's no going back. There's no going back! How stunning, I just wanted to show us old brick. Beautiful, but dark, moody, new brick, ah! Oh. Feels like we're in Europe. I'm very excited. Okay, we're ending for the night because <laughs> it's five o'clock and 
Matisse has to go out. Everything is just messy. I'm just in it now. Putting, you know, every everything real. I don't know. I just stopped there because I measured. I have a surprise coming for us tomorrow, which you'll probably have been seeing in some of the earlier videos. And I measured it, and it's going to go right here. So that's perfect. And then I'm going to do chest, mirror, magazines, my friend Chino's sculpture. So we're going to wait until t delivery is tomorrow. The delivery tomorrow. But I think it's looking really good. And it's 5 p.m. So tomorrow in the morning, it's going to be insane to see this in the light. Eee, I'm so excited. Let's just get into it. You guys who know all of my living room walls need to still get fixed. They look absolutely horrid. The previous tenant had faux molding up that was already ugly. And then honestly, he just ripped it down and did no patchwork or anything. So this is still in the process of being approved to be fixed. It's New York City. There's a lot of that kind of thing here. So we're just, I'm being very zen about it. And it's okay. It's happening. But for right now, we have some more really pretty things, including the crocodile toy that I didn't really even realize was there. Here you go, my baby. And yeah, so the living room is halfway done. This wall, beautiful. The rest of it, not so much yet, but we're getting there. Okay, so this is my cabinet, fully empty. There's a little missing wooden part that I actually have the piece of. I just need to glue it back on. I'll get to that. And it looks dirty, but it's just old. <laughs> I cleaned it. And before anybody yells at me or tells me, I already got like inserts for the bottom of each shelf so that my bags will be protected. Don't you guys worry. But honestly, I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. It's antique wood and you can smell. It just, it just feels so authentic and fresh. Like, I don't know how to explain that, but there's just something about really, really beautiful wood. I sound like a crazy person, but it's really cool because essentially I'll have three different sections and then each one of the little cabinets can get closed on their own, which is really nice so that if I'm just looking for a bag, I don't even have to open the entire thing and get really overwhelmed. I just open whichever cabinet the bag is in. And now when I'm filming, I'll probably have at least the top two cabinets open like this so that you'll see, we'll have a, we'll have a bag background finally. And of course the very Layla Sophia version of a bag background, which is just, it's, it's very, it's perfect. And a very good question that like what my mother actually just asked me, which is a really good question is what bags are gonna go where? Because I still have, and I still love my original cabinet. And honestly, the original cabinet kind of dictates some of it. I might organize it differently in my brain if I could, but the original cabinet is like two inches less tall. And so there were some bags, which I'll show you in a second, that couldn't fit in there to begin with that I had in my closet. And so now it's amazing. I have a whole entire shelf left in my closet. I organized my closet so much better with all my clothes. I really don't have a lot. There's like a lot of negative space. So it just feels, it just feels great in my brain. So there is kind of a mix of what I just aesthetically want to have as like the focal point of this new cabinet. But then also there are a few, my taller bags kind of just have to be in here. Otherwise they don't have a home in a cabinet, if that makes sense. So I've already organized this. These are, this is exactly how these four bags were in my other cabinet when I just like them so much that I think I want them to be the focal point behind my videos because like, come on guys, it's so adorable. It's the chocolate brown and then kind of gray, green, brown little family with my Abby bag there in the back. And it's just such, it, this just feels like the most me little collection of bags. So these I think I'd really love to have up here in some fashion. And previously I had my The Row Eel Skin Dante XL bag behind these four, but then I realized how cute would my Bottega Sardine be kind of in the back and honestly this does deserve like a major major moment so let's go ahead and start here put the sardine in the back here again guys there will be protective inserts from the bottom it's okay i'm not like scraping my bags across the wood right now again it's kind of just aged so this isn't dust i cleaned it already there's just some discolorations either maybe from the sun or from being outside or something so just don't worry i know everybody gets very worried about that type of thing so that even though it's larger like how cute 
would all these, I'm like, should we just go ahead and start putting everything in? How did I have this? My glove bag is a little bit bigger than my Chanel camera. This is just exactly how I had them in my other cabinet. So this is kind of the easiest place to start, which is so cute. Like, come on, how adorable do those two look? And then I think I had my Abby bag kind of cornered like that. And then Savet is really the centerpiece of this little collection. All right, well, that was the easiest thing in the entire world. And then it's just, I don't know, the first shelf kind of just feels very, very me. Sorry, whenever I put my hand in here, we know I like to talk with my hands. It focuses my hand. I'll try not to do that as much. Yes, that is, that's the easy shelf. And then obviously a principle of this is that like, you know, when I get a new bag, I'll have to reorganize both of my cabinets, but I went ahead and put out like kind of, these guys are a little bit of the outliers. The lizard bag is not really an outlier. Actually, I wonder if I could put that on the top shelf too, because this is just such a cool piece. Hmm. Let's think about this because this might deserve to have more of a centric moment. Then you'll see why I grouped these because look at how cohesive this group is. This is like the orange brown mixed with the very cool tone, lighter nude beigey browns, which also could look cool with the chocolatey brown, but I figured this is kind of a vibe. And then are we dying? I hope this isn't ruining it for anybody. If anybody hasn't seen my last video, this is another one of the Rose very first pieces. Like, hello, can we talk about how amazing this duo is? I literally just unboxed this. This was a complete surprise to me. I got it from an amazing collector and yeah. She's my newest baby. I can't believe it. Wasn't expecting her at all. Simply just to honor height, I guess let's put this group in the very bottom cabinet and then this group in the middle. So let's start here. Okay, so to try to minimize the vertigo that I'm probably inevitably giving everybody, these two are the tallest. So let's alternate warm to cool shade. And then again, putting the 16 and my favorite color of all time in front of the doctor bag. Let's see. And then the row baguette bag, kind of like, hmm, like that so that it's like a little boop X moment, if that makes sense to anybody's brain but mine, I don't know. And then I might not have this in here forever because I actually have a really cute spot for her on a tiny little cabinet. I have, but this is my Dries Van Noten little tiny evening bag and like, the colors with the row bags are very cohesive. But this is a really interesting kind of like opposite, but kind of vibey combination. Is anybody with me here? Then this is the zoomed out, what it looks like so far. This is just so aesthetically pleasing. Let's be honest, the top shelf is really elite. And so, hmm, I might, I don't know. Everything is just always kind of gonna be changing, but so far this shelf has my heart a little bit. Then for these guys, just to like completely be basic and go in height order, even though my Celine class bag has been having her own moment in my room actually, she might need to go in bag because she's the tallest bag I own apparently, which is really crazy. So she's gonna go back here, which, you know, I can still see her and appreciate her, but again, everything will be moving around kind of forever and always, which is really nice because I love to organize. And then the other tall gal, which I also love, is my brand new, oh my goodness, my Christmas present, the Row Everett bag and the gold eel skin, which I am obsessed with. And then again, maybe to do like an alternating, these are total outliers of my collection, the green and the blue. Let's see if that makes sense. And then the lizard bag, I kind of, oh, I'm just like, I kind of maybe want to put this on the top shelf, but let's just, let's, let's have this here for now. And then make my Fendi peekaboo the little star of this shelf, if that makes sense. So that these again are the outliers, but because they're gold actually in colors, even though they're on the bottom, they pop out more than my brown bags would, if that makes any sense. And okay, you guys, you see what I mean? Like, I don't know if I'm just being super critical, but this shelf just looks like so me. It's just very elite. All of my little brown bags. Ooh, look at that afternoon light, guys. That is stunning. And I'm so happy my sardine bag really didn't have you know, a focal point <laughs> spot while she was in my closet for the last three months. I'm sorry. Now she has the center, the center fold, let's be honest. And I wouldn't have it any other way. 
But then the rest of my bags are so me too. It just is that, you know, the, again, this is gonna kind of be just ever changing. No, I love a color scheme. And so this is, I think this is the best I can do for right now. And then I'm gonna show it's what's in my original cabinet, which is really nice because I have an entire shelf empty right now, which is very nice. And then it'll be so nice to film all my videos with my little background, which is just a literal dream come true. And I, again, Virgo, I don't know. It's just a part of my, like, I just feel so much calmer in my brain when I'm able to really organize and kind of problem solve. And so having a cabinet system, as opposed to like a full bag closet where you really have free range of like, you can kind of put as many bags as you want. I know so many people have that. I feel so good having this system because like right now I'm like, I really shouldn't get that many tall bags again. Like there's, <laughs> there's, there's just not enough space for tall bags. Of course I could reorganize this and have room for it, but I love my little smaller bags that I can kind of mix and match in this cabinet. And then I have the flexibility of putting them in either cabinet. It's just me. This is just a me problem. This is just a me problem. But something about having the versatility of having all of your pieces on display, but then also being able to keep the cabinet doors closed just feels really like, it feels intimate. And it feels, again, just like a very me process, which is really nice. And then just to show us my original cabinet, which I really do love so much. I'll insert a photo of how it looked <laughs> when I first put all of my bags in it. But it's kind of nice that I have all of my white bags on the top shelf. I can kind of keep it like that. This entire shelf is all of my Bottegas, minus the sardine, but this is all the Daniel Lee for Bottega, and then my sardines upstairs. My two little pouches from The Row, and then Margiela, and then my entire collection of Louis, minus my Speedy 35. Matisse is moving around in the background, sorry. Honestly, this shelf, I could, I could put these pouches elsewhere and I could have a whole shelf free which is kind of nice, but I'm I'm kind of loving the juxtaposition of each one of my cabinets. It's really just like such a pleasure <laughs> to be able to kind of mix and match. And we'll just see how the collecting goes for the rest of the year. Okay, here's one last shot for the video. Thank you guys so much for doing this with me. I love this. It's just honestly, this is pretty, this is like a pinch me moment. This is beautiful. This is why we collect these gorgeous things and having a beautiful place to display them even without bags in it. This piece of furniture is gorgeous, is just even more satisfying and amazing. And again, I might be the only one who cares about this, but I really am so in love so far. Thank you guys as always for watching. You know I wanna hear all of your thoughts down below. I cannot wait to see you in my next video and I can't wait to talk to you guys. Bye guys.